Well, Big Dick Butler is a guy willing to try new things, and he considers himself a pretty good bread maker. He makes all kinds of breads I like, and always passing on the new recipes to Mrs. Champ. I think he's hot for Mrs. Champ personally, and he's just trying to make her happy, but she's starting to take a big interest in baking exotic breads from around the world. Well, Big Dick, I mean, of course, he makes a lot of dough, so he should know a lot about it. So one day, Big Dick is experimenting in the kitchen, trying out different spices and herbs to put into his bread dough, and he gets a bright idea that because, you know, he loves pickles, and I like pickles, and he loves them so much, especially the kosher dill pickles, he tries that herb in the next batch of bread the following day. Seems like a pretty good idea. Put some kosher dill pickles in there, try some herbs in there, and watch out. This could be great. Well, he had some extra bread dough that he didn't use, so he sent some uncooked dough over to Mrs. Champ to bake. Sounds like a really good idea. Thank you very much. Although the following day, I'm walking down the neighborhood, and there's Big Dick Butler. And he says to me, hey, Champ, how did Mrs. Champ like the dill dough I sent over for her to try? I says, pardon? He said, how did Mrs. Champ like the dildo I sent over for her to try? Well, I snap. I lose it. My temper is preheated to 450 Fahrenheit. Anger starting to rise. I basted him with my big oven mitt. Fat was pouring out of him like George Foreman's grill. I'm not going to let this guy off the hook. I got one more hot element of surprise. I convection broil him with a five-knuckle oven cleaner. He's lying there like a loaf of lazy bread. I says, how's that, big dick? Is that did Mrs. Champ like the dildo I sent over for her to try enough for you? Ever since I've been the champ.